Welcome to setting up an amp bridge full station. For the station today, we've got the POS device with the customer display screen on the back side. We have the cash drawer, a receipt printer, and the zebra scanner. First, we want to take a look at the cables we're going to need. We've got a cash drawer cable that's going to run to our receipt printer, a power cable going to the receipt printer, and a USB cable going from the receipt printer to the bridge. We will also have a zebra scanner and its USB cable is going to go to the bridge. And then we're going to have a network cable and it's going to go from my network into the bridge as well. First, let's set up the receipt printer. To do this, I need to grab three cables. The first one is going to be the power cable. This is typically a, what's called a barrel plug, which is, it looks like a tube. I'm going to take the flat side down this way, plug it in. The next thing I'm going to need is my USB cable. There are two sides to a USB cable that go with a printer. One, which is your traditional USB cable, which is flat. And the other one, which kind of looks like a house, where it's flat on the bottom um, and then rounds up towards the top. I'm going to take this side and plug this into the back of the receipt printer. And then the last cable I need is the cash drawer cable. Now, right now I have my cash drawer cable. The one side of it is already plugged into the cash drawer. This side right here needs to go into the receipt printer. All right, with the power cable, the USB cable, and the cash drawer cable, I've got everything I need for the printer. Next, I need to take some of these cables and put them into the bridge. To access the ports of the bridge, you can see that they are in the underside here. Now I've zoomed in on the ports underneath so I can show you what needs to be plugged into which port. You can already see that I have power cable plugged into the bridge right here, which is on the far left. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the USB cable from my zebra scanner and plug that into the bottom of the bridge. Here's my USB cable. Go ahead and plug this right here. There we go. Next, I want to plug my receipt printer into the bridge. Here's my USB cable for the printer. Go ahead and plug this in as well. And then lastly, I need to plug my network cable into the bridge. Now, like I said before, one side of your network cable likely goes into a switch or to a router or a modem. I have this out here just as an example of what that might look like. This is my switch with one end of my network cable being inside of that one with the other side going into the bridge right here. You can see the port here that says LAN. Go ahead and plug this in. Now with the power cable, the zebra scanner USB cable, the printer USB cable, and the LAN cable, network, ethernet, whatever you'd like to call it, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back down now, if your device isn't already powered on, you can power it on by holding your finger down on this glowing green button that you see right here. And that is the full setup for the bridge. Thank you for watching today's video from Quantic POS Training Center. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button below. And make sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates and to join our growing community. Also, be sure to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you never miss an upload. See you next time.